I'ma roll up the dough. Roll up the dough. I'ma get high. I'ma make you fall in love. I know. If you can do it, you can do it. It's Boss Lady Plus 2 with two boss stuff on the mic with Illa National Radio. And we are back in the building, y'all. Y'all know I'm always excited about, I'm talking about Chicago talent, black-owned businesses. It always just makes me so happy. So I'm in the building right now with some Chicago talent. And I'm talking about, we got Hefe in the building. What's up, Hefe? What's good? What's good? Man, tell the people about you, man. Where you from? I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. Man, Born and raised. What you doing here? My granny stay in Chicago, man. <laughs> I came up here to see my granny, you know. End up getting into some other stuff and end up staying. Man, so what you feel about Chicago? You know, it's a big difference. I mean, Chicago, it's decent. It could be better, but it's good. You know what I'm saying? What about compared to the, the weather? That's what I'm talking about. Man, ain't it sad, huh? You got to buy a coat. And you have to buy leggings, and you have to buy pants, and you have to you have to buy a lot of stuff moving here. Believe it or not, when I came up here on the plane, I had on tank top and the shorts. What? Man, so talk to us about your music. Like, how long you been doing this thing? I've been doing music for about four years now, but I've been taking the serious the last two years since I got shot up and everything. Man, I got shot up? What happened, man? I was out west from Chicago. That's enough said. We only got to rest of the story. <laughs> but, and I'm a South Sider. That's why I'm going to say that. But anyway, so tell the people about why you so inspired to keep this going. Because right now, your age group, and I don't even know how old you are. I just know you're younger than me. But you know, it's it's um, it's um it's looking real meek is what I'm going to say. I mean, what I'm doing with the music, you know, it's like, it's everything I go through, everything I experience in life. And I feel like through the music, I can help somebody else going through the same thing, you know, probably help them cope with better situations. Man, so what do you, is it mostly about you and just things that you or things that you see or maybe observe? It's a little bit of a thing. It's a little mixture of a thing. I love it. You sing too? Yeah. What? <laughs> Get out of here. I was talking about, I was listening to, you know, you just, just one thing that you had did because he sent me a couple of videos on you and I'm like, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I like it. It's kind of smooth. Where do you get this inspiration from? Is it a, you know, a grandma or is it a, because, you know, it's my always something. My grandfather. Yeah. My great-grandfather and my cousin, Artie Smith. What did they do? Well, how was they inspired? I mean, my great-grandfather, he was a blues singer. Robert Curtis Smith, he was from Mississippi, Jacksonville, or whatnot. And then my cousin, he was uh, making beats and stuff while I was growing up. And that, you know, kind of inspired me to get into it and... Yeah, since then, I always liked it. Man, and now you're here, 2021. How does it feel, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of challenges out there in the rap game. Because, you know, that's a one in a million type of thing, you know, sometimes to some people. Yeah, I mean, but in the rap game, not everybody trying to be a drill rapper. There's not really too many people out here singing and being. I'm sorry, I just Yeah. <laughs> being versatile. Yeah. Like you got a different. It ain't too many people being versatile. That's the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Everybody just want to be a drill rapper in Chicago. So I feel like I'll be setting the bar by doing something different. Cause beats beats be ruling it though. You know what I'm saying? Like you just hear a funky beat, you don't say it the whole chorus. Don't know nothing about what they said in the song, but you don't you know the whole chorus just off the beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I think you know that's selling. You know. Yeah. So they into that fast money and looking at things a little bit differently than what we looking at it because. Music for older, you know, generations a little bit up. You know what I'm saying? They really had a story to tell. You okay. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What was that? Brenda had a baby. But I'm just saying, though, they had a story to tell. Yeah, everything back then had a message behind it. It did. And that's kind of what I'm trying to incorporate into my music as of today. I love it, man. That's the kind of stuff that we need to definitely bring back. So what do, you, what do your friends say? Because, you know, they, at a lot of, you know what I'm saying, young men right now into fashion and just... You know, spending a lot of money on this, the shoes, the this. You know, they just into what they look like, but they core be messed up a little bit. Where does your foundation come from? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of self-taught. I mean, I had to be dedicated myself and just stick with it. If it was something I wanted to do, I just had to keep grinding on it. I couldn't let up. It wasn't nobody but me. I don't have no friends. I mean, 
I hang out by myself because I don't really can't trust nobody. So. Hey, that sounds good to me. That definitely sounds good to me. I'm always my motivation to do better. I love it. I love it, man. And I knew you was about something. You know what I'm saying? When you walked in the room, I'm looking at you like you got some kind of stature about you. You was standing all straight up, like one no pants, one sagging, one this, one. You know that right there speaks volumes. People throw, people go off image right now, right? Yeah. Perception is reality in the world right now, right? What you look like is who you gonna. I'm gonna say you are. No, you don't know me. You don't know me. You ain't talked to me. You ain't said nothing to me. You ain't been around me. You don't know me. Stop looking at this right here and say this boss lady plus. You don't even know all the boss lady plus to me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know. They don't even know, but I'm going to tell them, though. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. It's always going to be a movie. So, tell me a little bit about right now your videos. You got videos that dropped. You got EPs. You got songs and new releases. What uh, you got yeah, yeah. I just dropped some. Uh, I had a video drop a couple of weeks ago. It's uh, at the hotel with producer Mike Drone. He going crazy on the videos and the visuals right now. Uh, I also just did some with my homie Rambo Black. It's called Print Up. And that's on Smack too. Man, so what about YouTube? You got some handles. Baby, yeah, you already know. I'm sorry I've been stuck on the road. I'm trying to get these bands from these hoes. I mean.